I want to teach you a little technique, share it with you so that you have another resource to um, not only process where you are now, but to help get yourself back into alignment with where you want to go truly if you find yourself getting out of balance ever. So um, this is going to be called the count to four technique and um, and basically you can use this for any area of your life, but essentially this count to four technique is meant to help you make sure that you are aligned with your health, with your happiness, with your wealth. Um, step one is to identify what you want, to define it, to describe it, and not in the standard way of what we sometimes do, right? Like I want this, mm -hmm. I want that, I am this, I am that, I am here. But everything that you desire should have a size, a color, a texture to it. You should be able to sense it in your senses, to taste it, to smell it, to feel it, to hear it, to see it. And so when you are going through and identifying specifically what it is that you want, you if you have not um, identified the size, the color, and the texture of your dream, you have not figured out how to define it and describe it adequately enough to move it into the emotional realm. You have a mental image. You have a mental understanding of what it is that you are looking for, but you have not uh, moved it down deep enough in order to actually embody it. The purpose of this ex exercise is that you are able to totally embody it in the size, the color, and texture. You have identified it. You have, can describe it. You can define it definitely. Okay, step two of the count to four exercise is to pretend. Okay, your imagination is a powerful tool. And, and it was given to you on purpose by your creator. Because whatever you could think of, whatever you could dream of, that is what is uh, what is possible. That is the starting point of what is possible for you. How do I know it's the starting point? Because even more than you think, ask or imagine will be given to you. That that the, the your whatever starting point of your ability to even think about the size, the color, and the texture of your dream is the starting point. But if it's the doorway, and if you don't get to the doorway, you can't enter in to the fullness of the rest of it, right? And so that's why it is so important to do what you do. You you take responsibility for your things, and God will add unto it, and he will expand your uh, capacity to receive it. Okay, so step two is to pretend that you already are who you want to be, and you already have what you want to have. If you cannot embody it, if this is if this is simply a, a mental ascension to an idea, oh, I know that that's possible. I know all things are possible. I know that that's not too hard for God. I know that that's this and this and this. If that is where you are stuck, you're not moving. There's something sh there's something still blocking the energy in your body for you to receive and in your soul for you to receive. There is a lie. There is a stronghold. Sometimes it's like, well, I can't be that person because I have this list of things I have to do, right? I'm in court with the narcissist or, you know, I'm, I'm not learning how to not be anxious with the narcissist. I've got a whole bunch of list of things that I have to do before I can do that thing. Before I can have my dream life, I got to take care of th this list. That, that is toil. You were not created to toil. You were not created to toil. That is that is doing it in your own strength. There is a better way. The reason why pretending works so well in this situation is because you can literally forget about that list. You can forget about that list. You can embody right now the version of yourself who is um, who is uh, uh, sure of who they are, who is confident, who is self confident right? Who is, uh, or God confident, right? Who you, you, you are connected with who you truly were created to be. 
and you have no problem setting boundaries. You have no problem um, allowing things to come to you and receiving. Okay. That, that is a huge issue for people in narcissistic abuse, really abusive relationships. They, um, they forget how to receive. 